Oh my God, I wasn't even gonna come out today. I wasn't even gonna come out on a hike, on an adventure. And boy, am I glad that I did. Today's video is sponsored by Real Estate Photographer Pro. If you're looking to turn your creative passion into a career in real estate photography, then check out their fantastic online school that covers everything from business setup to photo editing, software to presets, and absolutely everything you need to start, run, and grow a successful real estate photography business. A one-off payment will give you a lifetime membership with new content being added at least weekly. If this sounds like something of interest, check out their website and remember, use the offer code Henry for 25% off. Hello guys and of course, welcome back to the channel and thank you all so much for tuning in as always. As you can see, we're back in the mountains and I'm super excited. That peak that you can see behind me there where the sun is, that's where I'm hiking up to today. So firstly, got to traverse this beast here and then sort of loop the way around over there. So super excited to be back in the mountains. We're in Snowdonia. If you've followed me for a while, you know it's one of my favorite places to go hiking. One of my go-to places and yeah, it feels wonderful to be back. Um, genuinely really feeling that sort of sense of belonging that I've talked about so much recently. Um, yeah, this is exactly where I want to be. So super excited. We've got some gorgeous views out to see. You can probably see over there. There's some hills over that way with some snow on them and the conditions are gorgeous and the weather conditions, uh, sorry, the weather forecast is looking pretty good as well for sunset. So fingers crossed that all works out, but all in all, to be honest, photography aside, delighted to be back in Snowdonia. Top draw. I'll tell you what guys, it is chilly. Um, I think when I was down where I parked the car, so obviously, you know, a lot further down, it was, um, I think it was minus one. So a little bit later in the day now, but I'd say it's probably minus one up here now, but with the wind, you get that wind chill. Absolutely freezing, but enjoying every second of it. And as you can see, I've got myself set up for a first shot of the day here, and it's, um, it's not gonna be anything special, but we have an absolutely glorious scene here. And I think, you know, this is fairly accessible. This walk has not been too difficult. Um, and this is somewhere that I can definitely return. And um, this is an incredible viewpoint. We've actually got Travan there, the sort of um, prominent peak that you can probably see there in the center. And I actually got a shot last year, probably this time last year, actually, maybe even to the day. That's weird, come to think of it. Uh, if you follow me since then, you probably know the one I'm talking about, if not, pop it up on the screen now it's one of my favorite photographs that i've ever got obviously from a completely different um, viewpoint and perspective but yeah it's nice to get a shot of it again good ultra fan it's nice to be back um so you can probably see what i'm doing here we've got this sort of like ridge line of these cliffs on the on the right hand side what i really like about it is just winter we're not quite in winter yet i wouldn't say it's the end of autumn but you get this beautiful low light. So even though now, what time are we on now? Maybe around half past one, two o'clock in the afternoon. So you, in, the, in the summer, that'd be so harsh, that light. But in the winter, even with clear skies or getting on towards winter, you get this beautiful golden light pretty much throughout the whole day. Like it's still fairly harsh, it's not ideal, but um, I really like it here. And with all this frost on the side of this cliff, absolutely gorgeous. But 
it's just creating a really nice line between the shadow and the light that's leading us in to into the image and into the mountains and actually into Trofan as well. As you can see, the sky is not particularly interesting. Um, however, uh, I'm using my 16 to 35 lens, by the way, guys, my new one. Um, I've stuck the polarizer on the front, which is really helping to sort of deepen the blues in that sky. And I think it just adds a little bit more interest. Um, so that's fantastic. ISO 100, F9 and 1 13th of a second. Really, really simple photograph, to be honest. Um, but one that I think it's going to be nice. And like I say, this is somewhere that I can easily return to. I really want to get some nice winter photographs this winter, obviously. Um, and I think this is one that I'm definitely going to add, add to my list because it's so accessible and that will be a class shot if we had loads of snow on the peaks there. Um, so first shot of the day, I really hope you like it. I'll show you this one now and then I'll chat to you guys a little bit of how I found this location and we'll crack on with the walk. windy guys <laughs> um but absolutely oh god it is so gorgeous i've just found myself a little house here i'm on the summit of minid perfed so oh i'm gonna chill up here for five or ten minutes maybe 15 or 20 and uh have a coffee have some super noodles curry flavor of course only the best but just wanted to show you guys around a little bit um look down there over my left shoulder that is um, the Ogwen Valley, and that is actually Llyn Ogwen down there, and Trafan, so that's the one that I just shot. Been down there many, many times. One of my favorite places in Wales, one of my favorite places in, in the world. I'm just gonna say it, one of my favorite places in the world. Stunning it is down there. Um, and left shoulder over there, if it's not overexposed. Um, this is Elida 4, that's where I'm headed. I need to get a bit of a shift on because sunset's in about an hour and a half. I want to try and get a good shot but it is looking absolutely glorious over there towards Mount Snowdon. Incredible Snowdon's got a few clouds on the peak there you can see it's even got a little bit of snow on the top. Gorgeous snow-capped mountain the highest peak in England and Wales. <sighs> absolutely stunning it's a delight to be back. Um, I did say sorry I'm spinning around all over the place that I wanted to tell you how I found this place I've got uh, I use my photograph in the Snowdonia mountains book which is really really good and it was a suggestion in the book that basically said that it's a lot quieter than this area of Snowdonia, which is back towards Snowdon. Uh, today's a Saturday and I've seen probably five or six people. So if, you know, if that's your thing, um, coming up somewhere and being quite isolated, it feels really, really wild up here. It's fantastic. Then yeah, I definitely recommend it. It's super quiet and usually over here, um, it's a lot busier. So anyway, I'm going to get the noodles on the go, have a coffee and I get myself up towards um, this peak here in the background, Elida 4, and hopefully get some decent sunset. Your heart, your eyes, our love. having a bit of a moment ah it's just unbelievable how beautiful this place is I'm not at the peak yet not far to go but oh my god look at it it's absolutely gorgeous and that sense of belonging that I've been talking about is just so strong like this is just I just wouldn't want to be anywhere else on planet earth God, it is just so 
so special. Look at this landscape. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, this is one of the better hikes I've been on in the UK. And it's dead. There's no one here. Ah, this is just spectacular. So back over towards the Snowdon Massif. Um, Snowdon, you can see there, still got a bit of cloud on the top. Hopefully it's going to help us at the summit if you want to be shooting that way. You can see a little bit of low cloud, low hanging clouds coming in in that direction back towards the Ogwen Valley and then looking out over the beautiful Irish Sea that way. Oh my God, I wasn't even going to come out today. I wasn't even going to come out on a hike, on an adventure. And boy, am I glad that I did. This is absolutely ridiculous. Um, oh. So I want to get to the top. As you can see the sun's starting to dip down a little bit now. Um, I don't even care about the photography, <laughs> like this is unbelievable. Um, I'm going to get to the top, it's looking like I might want to be shooting that way, so let's crack on. Amazing. Absolute straight out the top draw. So, whoa, we're set up and see all that cloud behind me there. It keeps making its way in to, our, to where we are right here on the peak. And I, at first I was waiting for it to pass, waiting for it to pass and then grabbing the shot because I was thinking, you know, I don't want a lot of cloud in the front of my photograph in the foreground. Um, but I took one shot by mistake um, and there was a little bit of cloud in it and a fairly long shutter speed, about half a second. And, it had this really nice sort of foggy effect in the foreground, so I think I might use that, but um, essentially what I'm doing, we've got the sun over there, just about getting some really nice side light back on uh, Snowden there, which is just incredible. And zoomed in on the 16 to 35 at 35 mil, so fairly zoomed in. And just doing a sort of abstracty almost, abstracty shot of the, of the mountains there in the background, the Snowden Massive. Um, capturing some of them beautiful clouds on the top of Snowden, absolutely gorgeous. Um, bracketing, just to make sure I'm getting the exposure correct, giving myself a bit of an insurance policy. It's quite bright in the sky compared to some of the shadows down here, but all in all, absolutely gorgeous. And um, I'm going to start heading back down the mountain, but we're still going to have a view back this way to where, towards where the sun is setting. Um, so if anything happens with that sky, I'm covered. So I'll pop this photograph up for you guys to see now. What an adventure. So hello and uh this is going to be the last shot of the day and it's going to be a pretty nice one I think. Nice um, little selection of photographs today that, you know, none of them are mind blowing but I think they tell an incredibly good story of this landscape actually, especially on today, when uh, a day like today when we've had all this frost this time of year and we've been fairly lucky with the conditions as well. Um, so this is a very, I like to think this is a real typical Snowdonia shot. I think this tells a wonderful story of Snowdonia and I'm super happy with it, to be honest. So I'll start from the foreground. Down here, we've got, um, it reminds me actually of a mountain not too far away. Obviously, they're all gonna be the same. Um, Glidderfach, which I did a wild camp on there a while back. I'll stick the link to the video up in there, in, in the corner, if you wanna see that. And it's quite similar. It's got all these beautiful spiky rocks, um, real sort of dark greys, very, very rugged. And I want that to be the story of my foreground, you know, rugged. And I wanna, I'm glad I've got quite a lot of this frost in as well. Um, again, all, all about trying to tell the story of the day, really, and the landscape and the location. Um, so I've got some in, like, the kind of immediate foreground here, some of these rocks, and then it leads round into some of the Snowdonia Hills, mountains, absolutely glorious. Um, I can see as far as the Clem Peninsula, there's a little lake or Clin down there, Clinau. Absolutely incredible. Um, the sunset, uh, I've got the sky in in the photograph. It's not as nice as, as I would have hoped, but there is a little bit of colour up there. There's a bit of orange and there's a nice sort of strip of cloud going across the horizon. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm quite happy with that. And 
yeah, that's all I need to say, really. Uh, technically, I am bracketing once again because the, the dynamic range is incredibly high, extremely high. So, again, overexposing for the foreground to get it nice and bright and then underexposing for the sky to get it nice and dark and then I'll blur them both together in Photoshop or blend them both together in Photoshop. Um, shooting F11, focusing to infinity. And yeah, another decent shot from this epic location. I hope you guys like it. So, top draw, what an adventure. I'm absolutely delighted that I decided to come out because like I mentioned earlier, I wasn't even planning on it and some decent photographs I think as well. And um, thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you are new to my channel, please, whoa, please do consider subscribing. There's gonna be plenty more content of this type. And um, if, if you guys could, please give this video a like. It really does help me out. And above all, thank you so much for joining me and I shall see you guys next week on the next adventure out your heart your heart your eyes